Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to Do Daily. It's Des here. Who's ready to attack the day? Who's ready to wake up to walk? Of course, that's what I've done, bright and early. It really is early today as well. But it's an absolutely amazing day. You'll see behind me in a sec, the sun, sun shining. But you can see the ground behind me too. It's quite chilly. The floor, the floor's slightly iced over. So it's a really crisp, but fantastic morning to be out doing what I do. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Of course, over the next few weeks, I plan to continue my journey on the Robin Hood way. It's a trail route through Nottinghamshire, starting at Nottingham Castle, uh, covering about 100 miles up and down the county, across, zigzag, um, up as far as we can get towards Worksop and then back down to finish in Shield Forest. Hopefully, along the way, there'll be some more references to Robin Hood. Not many so far, but that's not what it's all about, is it? It's about getting out for a good walk and really attacking the day, really making the most of it. Days like today are what it's all about, to be honest. Whilst it is a bit chilly, that's not a bad thing. Still get a bit of a sweat on. Um, plan to do a fair distance today for, for a morning to attack the day, you know, before work. Plan to do about four miles. Uh, I've just left the Hemlock Stone, somewhere you might have seen on Do Daily a few months ago now. Really nice spot. Um, and I'm just heading out along the Arrowwash Canal towards Trow uh, before cutting up up the sort of county towards Straley Village, another place I went, which is really nice. Looking forward to finishing off there. But today, like I say, is what it's all, all what it's all about for me. You know, getting out in the real fresh air. Really love it when it's like this. Taking a few pictures already. I'll hopefully get a few more in. Check those out at the end of the video. You know, really looking forward to sort of getting the video done and then getting some time to actually really enjoy the walk, take it in, you know, not always the case on a Friday morning, having to rush around, but having planned it, prepared a bit better than last week, um, got every opportunity, really looking forward to that part of it, you know, just to sort of take myself away for a few minutes, you know, and really, really enjoy it. I mentioned last week there. I'm so glad this week I'm on the right. Um, I'm on the right path. Do you know? I uh, did the. Uh, I rerouted it on, on Wednesday. Really enjoyed that video. So check that out. But I finished just at the Mlock Stone, where I was supposed to. Not about half a mile up the road like I did last week. So today, do you know? Getting. I've looked at the map a little bit, a bit more. And getting out and getting on it and knowing exactly where I'm going puts me at ease. Whilst I love to explore, and I really do, I do it whilst I'm doing do daily most of the time. Explore and find things out and then come back with a few quirky stats. Do you know, it's good to know where I'm going as well. Just so, just looking out there, I don't know if the camera will do it justice, but towards the sun and the countryside, do you know, it looks absolutely fantastic. And that's why I'm looking for a few minutes off camera. Looking forward to a few minutes off camera too. But yeah, um, because I'm a bit more prepared today. You know, real, uh, I'm really f full of it. And that's what it's about, isn't it? But if I've got the enthusiasm, obviously, hopefully, sorry, it will just motivate and inspire one or two others to perhaps take the same journey. Perhaps just get out there wherever you are. The whole point is to highlight we can do it wherever we are. And I've highlighted over all the weeks so far why I do it. Do you know the, the obvious health benefits, um, physical benefits, the benefits to my mental health, do you know, and just attacking the day in the right way. Do you know, I always mention the fact I get a chance to sort of lose a few of those negative thoughts that build up over the week. 
and they do we all um, experience those we all have to deal with things that we'd probably choose not to but when i'm out here it's like there's some kind of release you know seeing some of these amazing views you know getting out in the sun and the fresh air clearing the mind we all know what a bit of fresh air does and whilst most of us like it warm um when it's cold you know it really does sort of give us a bit of headspace i guess you know and that's all i'm trying to create i'm trying to create a bit of a safe space for myself whilst for people looking in like yourselves i'd like to create a bit of a safe space for you do you know just the way you can refer to see somebody enjoying what they do whilst many might look in and go walking's boring you know give it a try guys honestly do you know it's definitely not it's definitely worth getting out you know nobody's ever had a bad walk nobody nobody's ever had a bad run so whichever way you choose to do your activity and right now this is the best way for me to do it do you know not that i wouldn't anyway but i've mentioned the niggling injury do you know so with the frustrations of that and some big concerns do you know and and like i say everyday life um just just sort of not getting in the way because it's just something we have to do do you know there's no point beating herself up about the things we have to deal with do you know it is what it is do you know and if we can just keep sort of positive and really sort of driven about how we approach it do you know we'll be just okay honestly you'll be just fine we can just do things to add to it and that's all it's about isn't it do you know it's just about making the absolute most this week started the week by talking about choices and uh, how we can choose to put us up, put ourselves in a better sort of frame of mind do you know we definitely can can't we do you know i've already said today these are the things i choose to do to do that but everybody can make a conscious effort and i'll keep sort of encouraging that because we can all make a conscious effort not to be happy not to do things that help us out you know to, we all make bad decisions from time to time but the important thing is not to beat ourselves up too much with that do you know we're not really our thoughts are we do you know what you what crosses your mind here here there here and there do you know it doesn't mean that's what you necessarily believe in or what you think but when we're not feeling fantastic when we're not doing the things to help us out it can just uh, preoccupy us i guess for a little bit too long and that's uh, important to remember do you know just to sort of forget about it do you know what can you do sometimes of course as the week went on i spoke more about sort of finding a bit of steely determination and realizing that we've not really got any limitations have we do you know people do extraordinary things people do absolutely fantastic things do you know and i watched one guy who was speaking this week it was matthew mcconaughey actually one of his videos I mentioned him quite a lot um, he loves this kind of thing too he um he says when when people use words like uh, incredible and phenomenal about human beings it's rubbish isn't it because everybody can do the same sort of things do you know well, unbelievable he really doesn't like that word because everything's believable when it's done do you know i mentioned the story about roger bannister completing the four minute mile people said it was unbelievable and he said that's a bit of a discredit to such things like that do you know because our capabilities are far greater than we believe do you know so uh, actually believing that is the is the first step to getting these uh, amazing things done there's other words we can use but is he definitely said nothing's unbelievable because it might be amazing it might be incredible it might be fantastic do you know but never believe that you can't do something and especially because somebody else doesn't believe it do you know i've uh, kind of encountered that quite a lot oh got caught on the gate there uh, i've encountered that quite a lot myself i guess do you know i've spoke about it how sometimes i think it's hard to 
get support and people to believe that I want to do something slightly different. But in all reality, it doesn't put me off anymore. You know, it just uh, makes me more determined. I don't, I wouldn't say to prove people wrong because they don't watch it. What does that matter? Do you know, it's almost to prove to myself that I can do absolutely whatever I want. Again, I'm going to do a bit of a, a 360. You know, absolutely stunning countryside. Just walking towards the Derbyshire border. At this point, I don't actually go over. So that's a small win, isn't it, on a Friday morning. Um, but some absolutely amazing countryside. And again, after, after the week I've had, where I've mentioned it's been another roller coaster of emotions, nothing to do with being busy, nothing to do with the things I've got to do. Just life being as unfair as it can be. You know, it's, uh, it's great to get out somewhere so peaceful. I say peaceful, just approaching the uh, M1 motorway. So don't know whether the camera picks it up. That's quite noisy. But again, being out in the countryside, once I've kind of moved away from that again, I'll be able to make the absolute most of it. I've done about one and a half miles. Oh God, there's a big cow looking at me. So hopefully he's, uh, he doesn't uh, charge me. He's still looking at me. <laughs> made me feel a bit uneasy but where was I sorry he's, he's still looking at me <laughs> yeah so uh was talking about belief there and what we can do you know it's just so important to just really really believe in what you do whether it's something amazing whether it's something sort of out there you know all I'm doing here on this trail is walking under miles over so many different segments do you know you can do that anytime anybody can do that do you know but like i said right at the start it's given me intention and purpose now hasn't it do you know to my friday mornings whilst i have been getting up for nearly 52 weeks now um and doing it and finding different things to talk about and do this now helps prepare me that little bit more do you know, and it really does. I've uh, already, today, I'm a little bit more prepared than last week because I realised what I need to do to make it better for myself. Back on the canal now, so safe away from uh, that ball. <laughs> but, yeah, so just believe in yourself. Just go and do exactly what you want. Do you know, I'm doing this, heading into another weekend. Really, really positive. Despite life being unfair, touched on that, didn't I? Sorry, that's where I was when, when the car was looking at me. Um, touched on life being unfair, and again, something else Matthew McConaughey says, life's shit sometimes, do you know? And we're all gonna experience it, and we're all gonna have to deal with it. People, we lose people we love, do you know? People shit on us from a great eye who we've called friends, do you know? You, your brother will cheat with your wife, you know, all those kind of things. Bit extreme, I know. But it really is, isn't it? So why uh, worry about things uh, when we don't have to? Sometimes we can't help it. But this really takes my mind, really does the trick. And I'm really starting to benefit from getting out here and doing it, you know. And today, especially, after that little sort of trauma back there, you know, back on the canal feeling it exactly how I, I enjoy it most you know you see the uh, the sun sort of coming up over the trees you can hear the birds singing you can probably hear those you know I love to hear that when I watch it back you know it just reminds me of what I was doing but yeah that's all I've got to say to get today guys nothing too big in the message just a few reminders of the week gone by you know and just a reminder that life happens, do you know? I'm not um, putting any of the situations I'm experiencing down. I'm just sort of reminding myself that it is unfair, do you know? And it's gonna, it's gonna creep up on us all. It's gonna affect us all. And we just have to be in the best possible place we can. 
while some might think oh look at him doing that look at him talking rubbish again Do you know like i say it just helps me deal with whatever's thrown at us whether it's throughout the week whether it's to try and brush it off just to attack the day on a friday or whether it's to make the absolute most of the weekend something i'll be trying to do again not sure exactly what i've got planned you know i've got a few things to do tomorrow you know but i'm looking forward to the break I mentioned a few a few times i'm busy what's new way eh? um so looking forward to a few days finishing this walk off you know getting some breakfast getting my coffee i always have a croissant and coffee on a friday just a little thing as well you know to make me feel like to make me feel like i've achieved it i've earned it i've uh, can sit back and relax knowing i've done another week been really pleased again with the uh, content so i'll keep working at that keep finding new ways you keep watching guys keep trying to take some of that on board you know if you can be positive if you can use this or, or if you can just get out for a walk and try to understand please comment below and what you're doing if you've enjoyed the video even if you've not you know always welcome to a bit of constructive criticism and have a great weekend you know comment let me know whatever you're doing please like share and subscribe and until monday just doing it